Hey, opposing good day, everyone. This is Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Borg, and this is going to be our quick preview to the Royals' final game up there in Newfoundland against the Newfoundland Growlers as they look to take two out of three in this weekly series and also keep the power play hot, which is a key factor, too, in order to keep winning. They keep the power play hot scoring in both games in Newfoundland when the power plays, of course, looked better of late. But obviously, when you're struggling, you can't really use the well, you got everything but the finish uh, talk there. You got to actually get the finish, and you got that. In these two games from Pritchard and Cressy, who went off yesterday, like I said, a player to watch for sure in this game, other than Pritch, who's always seemed to be a player to watch, uh, Jacob Pritchard, is definitely Jackson Cressy because he's a guy, it seems like he was getting bad puck luck, honestly, for most of the season when it came to getting his point. Obviously, it was going the right way for him yesterday, and I think that's really good to get him to play like he's been shot out of a firecracker and just showcase all of his um showcase all of his talent basically for the rest of the season and not look like you're a guy that's a little snake bitten. He's looked good, but obviously when you're snake bitten sometimes you obviously are gripping your stick a little bit tighter and now he's gonna get to play like he did yesterday. He was loose that entire game and looked great that entire game. And I think Morrison, Dylan talked about it on the broadcast too. That was a very good point made by Dylan. Who, once he gets going himself and kind of gets the monkey off his back with a couple goals, a couple points, um, I think that will help him. I thought Ryan Roth has also looked good since implementing him into the lineup. He, of course, had a nice play um, yesterday when he was able to make a couple plays. What I like about him is I noticed in the first couple games, he helps the center really well, where um, if, if the center's kind of tangled up, you see him kind of go into the circle to try to kick it back, and then he goes to his spot on the ice. That's just a nice little thing that obviously is something he's good at doing. But for today's game, the Royals, I mean, just carry the momentum from yesterday's game. You played a great game. The only bugaboo part of the game was a period of the second, where in the second half of the second, they were really playing well there, Newfoundland. But then Pat Nagel stepped up and was the man that really... Uh, was with the man with the plan, basically, uh, who's always been one of the best ECHL goalies, so it's not surprising he was able to make the big saves when needed. But I would assume, since he's played two of the other games this week, we either have Hayden in there tonight or Kirill Ustamenko. We'll have to see what uh, other goaltender they decide to go with of our three. But it would probably not be Pat, I would have to presume. But if it is Pat, then hats off, because he's already played some back-to-backs this year, and he's played them very well, so... At the same time, I wouldn't be shocked. I'm just thinking from the amount of games he would be playing back-to-back, and then, of course, he already played the other game, and the amount of games that the other goalies would just not be playing for at that point. Um, time off, where you're not playing again until next week, so it's going to be a long break if you don't give the backup any starts this week. But that was just my thought process into that. When it comes to this game, though, supply the pressure early. Keep the momentum coming from yesterday's game. You really defended the lead well. You really pushed the pace yesterday a lot better than, honestly, Newfoundland. The only reason they led in shots was because of that second period. And if the Royals play like they were able to play yesterday, not just in this game, but going forward, they're going to have, like they were on a losing skit, a winning streak because that's hockey that you're able to beat any teams. And they went up against basically the cream of the crop in the ECHL and the Newfoundland Growlers and beat them down yesterday 3-1, to one, playing that great, aggressive um, style that you play a very good pace, you don't just chip it around the board, you keep actually facilitating plays and creating plays, and that was really, 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 really fun to watch yesterday by our Reading Royals, and hopefully they continue doing that today, because if the power play stays hot, they can continue to play this very exciting level of actually creating plays, playmaking for each other, not doing as much of the boring board cycling and then not finding a play. And then also, like Cormier tends to do well, just continue to get the shots on net. When you see traffic, don't overthink it. Throw it on net. Try to get a goal like they did with Jackson Cressy, of course, yesterday for his power play goal. But I hope everybody enjoyed this preview to the Reading Royals versus Newfoundland Growers. I think it's going to be a heck of a game again. And then hopefully our Royals are able to take two out of three from Newfoundland. That would be huge for the standing, but also just huge for the team going forward to get that big boost, obviously, as then they go on to play the Adirondack Thunder next week on Friday, and then the following day, Saturday, which is back at home. So everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. Hope you enjoyed this preview, and hope you enjoy all the videos, and a special thanks to my subscribers. Please continue subscribing to keep the channel going and growing, and go Royals. Let's get a big win today. Peace out, everybody.